Welcome back to the Bourbon Note, everybody. I'm Ben. I got another sample on the bar. Let's get into it. All right, I've got another sample from Hatfield Barbecue. Thank you very much, Taylor. This is, bam, this is a Jepson single barrel, 128.2 proof Haskell store pick. So, Jepson's is a brand I don't have a ton of experience with. Uh, I have had their Storytime Distillery did a pick from Jepson's. That was a cigar blend cognac finish, and it was amazing. I have had the store pick from our local liquor store. It was great. And so looking forward to getting into this, I've been seeing the Jepson store picks pop up. By the way, Jepson's is kind of famous for, they're the same place that does Malort, which if you've ever had Malort, don't hold that against them. From my experience, they, uh, they've got pretty good whiskey. I think they're sourcing from MGP, I don't know. Maybe they're doing their own blending or, or something like that. But anyway, my experience with them has been fairly limited, but it's been good. So looking forward to getting into this one. I know their store picks from what I've seen are typically priced around the $50 price point. So that's great. Especially at the, you know, they're running the 120s proof wise. On this one, really dark and rich flavors. Chocolatey, there's a, there's something a little different. There's something kind of lightly, um, almost perfumey trying to come through in a weird way. Like right off the bat, it just comes across as dark flavors, dark caramel, dark brown sugar, maybe a bit of chocolate. But there's something there that's uh, just a little bit different, kind of riding on top of that. Let's see if it shows up on the palate, cheers. Oh, that's excellent. Wow. That, uh, <laughs> that is really dark and rich. Now, some bourbons, you kind of get like the lighter, brighter flavors. Like even if it's got the caramels and the chocolates or whatever, some of them are just lighter. This is dark and rich. Whatever that perfumey note I was getting for a second there seems to have gone away. Um, yeah, I don't really know what else to say about this. Really dark and oaky. Sometimes when you get the higher proof stuff, when you get into like the 120s cast strength stuff, you get those really, really, not just an ethanol punch, but you get those, like sometimes that flavor from not being proofed down is so strong and it's such a, a punch of just dark, rich flavors. That's what I'm getting off of this one, 100%. Like it drinks the 120, what is it? 128.2 proof that it is in a good way. Let's go in for another sip here. Super rich. There's a nice oakiness on the finish, I think. Nice like a kind of barrel char, not really char, I guess, but maybe just barrel, just oakiness itself. That's got a little bit of, it's a little tannic, but just the right amount. Sometimes you want a little kick of that and there's nothing wrong with that. But yeah, that's great. It's got, um, it's a fairly down the middle bourbon. Uh, it doesn't like really jump out in one direction or another too much. It's just really good. I don't want to say basic because it's kind of got basic bourbon flavors, but the flavors that are there are excellent. And yeah, just fairly standard, nice rich and dark caramel brown sugar oak. A little bit of vanilla in there, but Man, that oak note is coming through more and more the more I get into this. Let's see what happens on the third sip. This one, I think, this would be great with a cigar. Uh, it's just, it's strong and bold enough that I think it would stand up to a cigar very well. And I think a cigar would complement the, the dark, rich flavors in it. I might have to put that to the test this weekend. But yeah, 
Uh, for the $50 price point that I see these at, that's an absolute recommend. 100% will be picking one of those up at some point. So uh, Taylor, thank you very much for the sample. So I got to try this one and, and confirm that Jepson's does great single barrel. So, well, this has been Jepson's Single Barrel on the Bourbon Note. I'm Ben. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. We'll see you on the next one.